he's ready. <laughs> Born ready, man. He's ready. Um, one thing that we're wondering if we could get your permission if we could post this on YouTube. Hell yeah! I love you too. Can we just uh, interview him? Alright, th thanks, you too. Thanks, man. Okay, just give me one quick second. Okay. Katsabats. Katsabats. <laughs> is it recording? Yeah, yeah. It is? Sure. That's awesome. Yeah, you got it. Alright, now it's starting. Now it's starting, alright? We'll pretend like we're driving. <laughs> I can add sound effects too. <laughs> That's awesome. We're trying to outrace the destruction that is Gojira. Oh ah, no, Gojira! <laughs> Alright, okay, let's do this. Okay. Oh, stop it. For Pete's sake! Please stop it. Oh, shut the front Seriously. door, man. Seriously. CFMU, 93.3 FM. Uh, man. Of Cancer Beats, Mr. Liam. How are you doing today, sir? Cancer Beats, I like that. Hip hop styles. I, love it. I like my beats. You love your beats? I like hip hop. That's good, man. We I listen to everything. Danny Brown, we've been loving the new Danny Brown record. Have oh, you heard really? that? No, I haven't. Dude, if you like hip hop, it's like some it's like some odd future kinda like wild style like it's cool. Really? Yeah. Like, He's doing a tour right now with Aesop Rocky in like the States and we we're just like, that is the best. Wow, that is awesome. Now oh, here it's it comes. Like, really cool. Here it comes. Wow, do you want to like evacuate to the tent? Should we? No, we're are you getting wet? Uh, a little bit, but that's alright. We can get in the tent. Right. Okay, uh, pretty much we can do this. We're like, like hiding it. I know, we're like, ah, ring! Uh, the I'm kind of hiding behind you. <laughs> I'm I'll like in your sweater. You. I'll protect you, Leo. <laughs> Uh, the combination of subgenres you use descended from the regional scene of the southern U.S., particularly New Orleans. That's true. Can has Cancer Bats ever thought or have done a show in New Orleans? We have. We actually, uh, I mean, obviously because of the, uh, you know, weather, the storm and everything like that. Right. Um, there was a, a, a period of time when there was no shows in New Orleans at all. Wow. Yeah. Um, or at least we never played there. But we, last, um, two years ago, we were able to tour through there with Every Time I Die. We played the House of Blues there, it was awesome. Right. Um, I mean, such a sick city, obviously, for music and, like, culture and everything, like, so crazy. So the fact that we got to play was, like, such a, a cool, you know, vibe for us. Like, especially Scott, I mean, we went to Pepper Keenan's bar and, like, like huge, like, COC fans, like, huge. Um, I had got, you know, obviously down, like Pantera, like, our Pantera's from Texas, but, you know, like, that kind of, like, scene, holy crap, it's raining, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, is, like, totally, like, where we come from, musically, stylistically, and stuff like that, so, it, it was rad for us to play there. We're gonna be going back there with Noir. Oh, nice. It's gonna be awesome, yeah. Nice. Are you, like, really stoked for that? Dude, that whole tour is gonna be insane. Are you? It's, it's literally gonna be the best. I think we should maybe go inside. It's raining. Do you so. wanna go inside? You wanna go inside? <laughs> yeah. Run with the kid. Made it. Did we're we not dead. It. We're... So we're hiding out yeah. right now. Uh, Gojira is playing in this crazy storm, which I, is brutal. I hope everything goes okay. Yes, I do too, because like I am super drenched right now, and same with. And I really like Gojira, so I don't want anything bad to happen to them. Uh, are we going to be seeing more pentagram tours in the future? Ah, uh, the problem with the, the pentagram is that there aren't a lot of cities that it can work in. Right. Um, there's like the venues that they have in the UK. There's like tons of like 200, 300 cap rooms. So it kind of made it really easy. Okay. Whereas like I would be like we actually tried to look at how we could do that in Toronto. Right. And there's not really enough bars. Like maybe if we played weird restaurants, you know what I mean? But it's like there's not enough like spots that it would actually like make sense. So we would definitely love to. I'm into doing insane stuff. This right. definitely made us tougher. Like we we like we'll take on like two sets in a night like no problem now we're just like whatever dude we've done six in a day like there's nothing there's nothing to playing two and three like it's fine wow that's crazy what is the most hardest challenge you had to overcome while on tour uh 
playing when you're sick. Yeah, dude, trying to like rage when you just want to be in bed. Like, think about like the sickest you've ever been. Yeah. And yeah. then like try and headbang and like <laughs> play a show it. and like <laughs> you have all these people that want to party and have a good time and you're just like you're so fucked. It's like headband puke. Headband oh, puke. dude, <laughs> it's the worst. It's literally the worst. <laughs> What is the history of your nickname Scraps? And how uh, did it all begin? It came from like way back in the day, from like me having no money and like eating people's leftovers. Oh shit. Like at like restaurants and stuff. That was where like it came like people being like, oh Scrappy, I'll eat it. Oh you really? Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I, like back in like 2005. So what's like, like when the band had no money. So what's the craziest thing that you ever ate then? Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> Just some like, not anything I guess like too gnarly, just mostly like leftover food. That's I definitely would say like other people's that I didn't know, like that's definitely like a weirder vibe. Like where you're like, oh this family just left their table at, you know, Boston Pizza, I'll just eat all their leftovers <laughs> and you guys can go about doing what you do. And watch that they only went to the bathroom and they come back like, dude, where's their food? No, no, no. Like, Why did you guys leave all those nachos? <laughs> Why's that happen? Are your eight-year-old's not hungry? <laughs> well, fuck that. What would you want to do on the last day of your life? Uh, hang out with my girlfriend? <laughs> that, that's a good one. Definitely hang out with her. Hanging hanging out with her. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I would party with her. Awesome. Uh, what impact do you want to be on the world? Um, I don't know. I feel like Cancer Brass has got a pretty good discog. I'm happy with that so far. If we were like the world was, or I was to die, I'd be stoked on that so far. DSOL, I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> I'd be put out a record I'm like 100% stoked on. So I feel like that's a good vibe. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. So for the last question, what person in history would you want to be? Me? Yeah. John Bonham? John Bonham? Yeah. Okay. Like, to hang out with, like, Led Zeppelin, like, back in the day, like, 70s Zeppelin, yeah. that would be the best. It, really? I think that would honestly be the best thing ever. Like, fishing with them in their hotel room or, like, doing something gnarly with those dudes, like, back in the day, would be the best. How is there just a rainstorm and now it's, like, total, like, beautiful sunny skies? Yeah, I know. It's just one of those freaking And Gojira there. hasn't stopped. That's the best part. They're just exactly. still They're crushing. Just still giving still it. crushing. That's the craziest thing. But I really would like to say thank you very much, Liam. For your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'll give that back to you. Thanks. Thank you, Liam. Dude, take care of yourself. Cheers.